Hi guys and girls and welcome to another Nexus 7 video. In this video we're going to start investigating the improvements that have been made to the Nexus operating system uh, that have come with Jellybean 4.2. There'll be a small series of videos looking at different aspects. And the first one we're going to look at is the one that you can't avoid when you first open up the screen. As you can see, the clock has changed slightly. It's still a digital clock, but it now has a bold setting on the hour for some reason. But if you look here, if I hold down, I can actually remove this because it is a widget. So, widgets have been added to the lock screen. If I swipe right, well left, I can now add a new widget. So if I press here, I have a small selection of widgets I can now add to the lock screen. Now some of them are system ones such as a calendar, Gmail and so on, but we also have uh, lock screen widgets that have been added by third party developers and at the moment I have, I have two which are Falcon widget and Series widget. So let's add a widget and see what happens. We'll just add the Gmail one first and it gives me the option to choose the inbox. So it's going to lock and then add it. So now I have a Gmail widget. And if I swipe back, I have the uh, clock widget. So, let's just lock the screen and then unlock it. And we'll see how it works. As you can see, I've got the timer and I can quickly sw swipe left and get the uh, email if I want. Now, a little thing that I find a bit scrappy with this is if I unlock it, you will see a little box appear on the left-hand side where the other widget is. And I just think that's a bit uh, graphically unpleasant, a little bit scruffy. As you can see, you can just see it there. It kind of indicates that there is a widget. But at the same time, I think it looks a bit scruffy. Now, if we add another one, uh, we can just swipe left again and add the Falcon widget. And now this is a Twitter feed uh, widget, which is actually excellent, and I highly recommend it. Let me just uh, zoom in the camera here so you can see this a bit more. And then I'll go back to the main screen. So you would, un you would start to unlock the screen, and then you could swipe over to your um, Falcon widget and then just have a look at it. Now, a couple of problems with this, unfortunately. First of all, it doesn't cover the entire size of the screen. I can't resize this widget. I can pick it up. I can uh, amend where it goes. But uh, all I can do is scroll up and down and read widgets. One thing I can't do is actually go into the widget and reply. Because what happens is if I press on it, it then zooms back out and I have the option to unlock the screen so it doesn't jump directly into the application so it kind of just slows things down a bit uh, another slightly as you can see then I had to unlock the screen and it went into the application another curious behavior of this lock screen widget is that if I add widgets I always have to add widgets on the left hand side so I'll just add some widgets again And uh, let's put the Falcon widget there again. So now I have three widgets. Let me lock the screen. I'll turn off the screen and then turn it back on. So it defaults to the clock. Now, all my widgets are the left-hand side. What happens if I want to put some rigid widgets to the right-hand side? Well, I can't do that. And I can't cheat either. Because if I pick up a widget, long press, drag it over to the other side, then let go... I would expect now, when I unlock the screen, to have the clock in the middle and then have these two widgets on either side. But that's not the case. If I uh, shut down the screen and then switch it back on, it defaults to the email one. So we always have widgets to the left hand side when it seems obvious that you should have a main widget in the middle and then widgets to either side. Like you have a home screen if you scroll from either side. So, in summary, a nice addition but not perfectly executed, so it's not that useful and you would expect more functionality. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon in another Nexus 7 4.2 Jellybean update video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you're hungry for more videos, subscribe. It's free after all.